Hey guys, CB Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to import an image as blocks in any Minecraft world. All right, so there are two programs that you're going to need in order to do this. You're gonna need SpriteCraft, um, and here's the website. So we're just gonna download it here, SpriteCraft Full, um, then we hit download SpriteCraft Full now. So you'll be able to do that. And the other thing we're going to need is MC Edit. So um, I'm on the home page of MC Edit here. We're going to hit download MC Edit up here. We're going to download an older version, which seems to work better for me right now at least. Um, and up here, I'm going to download the 64-bit version. So uh, that's what you need to do there. So let me go to the desktop now. All right, so I have my two downloads, MC Edit and SpriteCraft. Um, and I also have the image that I want to import. Uh, this is just my logo. Um, so let's right click the SpriteCraft folder, extract all, extract it, and then open up MC Edit, extract that. And there we go. We have these two folders. So let's go into the SpriteCraft folder. All right, so go in the other folder here, run SpriteCraft full. All right, so we've got the program right here. Uh, we want to browse for the image that we're going to import. Uh, it's on the desktop. There we go. Open. All right, so we have a max width and max height. Uh, this is the, the maximum number of blocks that uh, it can be in the world. So right now there's no max. It's just going to be as big as it can to allow the image to be clear. But we don't want it to be huge. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. So we're going to set just the width to be, um, let's see, 100 blocks wide. Um, and automatically, because this is a square image, it'll do the height the same. All right, so now what we can do is go into options. Um, and here we can uh, we can add a resource pack if needed. Otherwise, it's just going to use the default textures for the blocks. We can choose which blocks we want uh, it to use um, and which ones we don't just by checking them and unchecking them. So I'm just going to leave it as default just the way it has it here. Um, and you can choose which rotation the wood is. Um, but I'm just going to leave everything default. So I'm going to close that and create the blueprint. So there we go. We have the schematic. Let me make this window a little bigger. Let's keep going there. All right. Um, so we can see if we can zoom in here that these are individual Minecraft blocks. So this will be imported into Minecraft using MC Edit. Um, so if we're happy with this, um, we can just hit uh, Save Schematic. I'm just going to save it on the desktop and call it uh, logo. Save. All right, so now we have a schematic. And then we can open that in MC Edit. Let's exit out of this, exit out of this, and exit out of that. All right, so we have a schematic folder here. So we need to go into MC Edit. All right, so we want to open mcedit.exe. And then we want to open the world in which we want to import this schematic. So quick load, just click on that and click on the world that you want. I want this one, load. All right, just wait for this world here to load. Or maybe it did already, oh yeah, all right. So let's see, where do I want to put this? I think I want to put it over here. Come on, chunks need to load. I want to put it right about here. So what we need to do is uh, import it using this um, little button right here. We're going to click that. It's going to bring up a folder where we can browse for the schematic. So we go to desktop, logo.schematic, hit open. So now I have this uh, logo here, and I can rotate it and do different things. So what I'm going to do is just click, set it right there. I'm going to rotate, and that's flipped. I don't like that. I'm going to rotate it twice. There we go. And I can click and hold the nudge button and use my WASD buttons to move it where I want. All right, I like it right there. So now I'm happy with that. I'm gonna press import. So now I can just save it. So I hit menu um, and I can just uh, hit close to get out of here and hit save. All right, so now I can go back into Minecraft. Let's go into single player and then go into my world. And it should load up here with the logo in front of me. Wrong area. <laughs> i got to go to the other side of the world where I actually placed it. There we go. You can see that uh, the logo is now placed in the world. 
Let's get closer. We can see the individual blocks. There you go. So we got some orange wool, black wool, and some snow just to replicate the colors of the image. So yeah, that's how to import an image into Minecraft. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a rating. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.